Alright, so picture you're in your room, a bunch of friends playing Call of Duty. All of a sudden, you get hungry. You don't have any food in your room. So you're gonna go to one of the restaurants in town. So you're driving, you get there, you wanna eat inside, walk up to the door, dining room's closed. I'm pissed. <laughs> uh, today I'm gonna be talking about why local restaurants should keep their dining rooms open later. Uh, the restaurants can generate more business, become popular with the student body, and how the local restaurants here compare to others in other towns. Um, generating more business, um, more students will come, obviously, if just more than the drive through is open. Um, more people would eat inside. Um, not just us, but more people in the community. Um, restaurants can earn more cash, because obviously more people would come in and eat after they get off work. Um, in the National Restaurant News on October 1st, 2012, um, Sharon Baker states most Applebee's typically close around 10 p.m., but some franchisees wanted to experiment with staying open later and shifting to a more club-like vibe to attract younger customers. Yeah, I know we don't really have Applebee's around here, but the point is if restaurants would stay open later, younger students and people would go in. Um, popularity, staying open later would attract more student and community members. Um, students will go in and eat just to get away from all like the studying and if you're bored, you have nothing else to do, you're looking for something to do, you can go in and eat. Um, other employees from other restaurants, say a McDonald's employee gets off work, doesn't want McDonald's, I wouldn't either, goes to Taco Bell and wants to eat inside, they can go because the dining room is still open. Um, as Megan Rose states in All the Night Moves on September 2006, a lot of restaurants stay open late to attract competition, and this just goes to show Taco Bell. McDonald's, if they stay open later, they can get people from like Subway. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I go to Casey's a lot because they're the only people open when I'm hungry late at night. Um, so with Casey's, they're getting more students in there. They got those $5 subs. It's a good deal to me, so obviously I'm going to keep going in there. Um, losing customers to other local businesses. So Taco Bell is obviously losing customers to Casey's because Casey's is still open. Um, in comparison, um, in my hometown, same restaurants like Taco Bell, McDonald's, they're open 24-7, which is really convenient because I get hungry a lot and I don't like what my mom fishes for dinner. So. I go out to eat. Um, some have late night deals, like they get like buy one get one half off or something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there and get it. Um, on January 26, 2009, Carol Tice states in the National Restaurant News, um, it's talking about Denny's. Um, in May, Denny's branded the late night all nighter and su supplemented its regular offerings with a special menu available from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. I don't know about you guys, but I like to run around late at night and I get hungry because I like food. So obviously, I'm going to be looking for a place that has deals. So I'm going to go there and they're going to get my money. Um, in conclusion, I just want you to think of how the local restaurants affect you while here at Manchester University. Um, we're poor college students, we're not going to always have the most money, so we're going to be looking for a place that has deals and it's cheap. Um, and if you want to go in and eat, you have those choices, but obviously we don't because dining rooms close at like 10. Um,
I just want you to remember how local restaurants compare to others. And I know if restaurants would stay open later, they would get my money. Um, thank you.